Well, that happened. Oops. This part has me a bit nervous because I'm setting the round, basically. That is kind of going to determine, like, a lot of the profile here, so. Here's hoping.
happy with the height of the fenders in the front or kind of how big I made them here. So spray foam it is. finally done with these blocks here. So I'm going to take them off so I can start carving the bottom of the car. So to check the fender heights before I carve them too much, I brought home a little laser from work. So I'm going to stick it to the garage door. We'll turn the lights off and we'll see how we're looking. That's pretty dang good. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but from what I can see, we're nice and level here. And I can check that as I go down with it. I can check it. I, again, it doesn't look right to you guys, but I can tell from standing here that my level line is nice and straight across. Here we are in the dark. You can see I have a laser set up here. And I don't know if you guys can see what I can see, but I can look at this laser and see that my nose is a really nice even curve till about here. And then it drops down. So my nose right here, I can tell is a little bit too low. So what I'll do is I'll sand the rest of this down to that level which I can afford to do rather than bringing that one up. I can actually afford to bring this down, but I can check if I bring the laser up, I can check other parts of the body curve. Like right here looks fantastic and even same thing here and higher. So I can tell with this laser how my curvature is if I'm straight and then down or vice versa, whatever. And I can also see it in my fenders as well from where I am. And I can bring it up to a point of, let's say there. And I can see that my fenders are the same height. I can also do the same idea with the back here. So that's pretty sweet. 
you can actually see with my laser, looking at the back here, you see where I'm touching that corner? And I'm a little high there, so I actually need to bring this and feather this down, down to that laser to be nice and even. You can also see in it that I've got a really nice curve right there, nice and smooth. Whereas this side, if you look at it, see that? See that? how it's not got a nice smooth curve? It's got a bit of a jog in it. So right there as well, I can see I need to float that out and smooth it a little better. It looks fine now, but you put some bright red paint on that and you'll see that. see what things look like without all the different colors going on and you can see what I've done here I'm using my little lip there to build up a nice smooth edge so that'll sand in really nice I put some drywall mud on this last night and it's pretty heavily on there uh, so it's not really drying so I've got my trusty fan and my trusty Abby here and I'm going to reshape a little bit of this too, because I'm not really happy with it. Where am I pointing? There. Can you see that? Anyways, so let's reshape. So I need this here. I'm working on the top of the car, but on the bottom of the car, I need this line here at eight inches to basically come like this and to round all that. Uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna make a little jig. Okay, so I need that round. I need that round to go uh, eight inch and five inch kind of thing. Okay, here we have it. Eight and five, uh, whatever radius that was. And you can see I kind of tested it in a few different spots. I don't know, no real science to it. just. Test it till it works. Here's my jig. So, eight inch by five inch. So that, I've set this up so that the wood is, is my belly pan basically. So it goes like, so, like that. Then I can check this on the actual car. If you can see any of this. Like that. So I know I'm going to clear all my fuel tank stuff. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with these, and I'm still not sure how I'm going to do it. But we're this far, so I guess there's no turning back now.
need to round the lower bit here and I've been kind of avoiding it because um, I don't want to screw it up and it's a nice long straight line that needs to be a consistent round and so I've been kind of avoiding it so but time has come so here's hoping piece of one inch particle core. This is gonna be the windshield um, lip, kind of like this. This created me a lip. This is gonna be kind of the same idea. So I gotta do some carving on it. Done a bunch of sanding to the drywall mud that I put on the car, and then I laid out the front wheel well, which is a little bit interesting. So now I'm going to kind of cut it, and now I'm gonna ship all this out and hope I don't wreck anything. So this bit here, um, on the on the car, this is so this is the fuel tank actually on the real car. Obviously, mine mine's the fuel tank as well, but this is more of a, a body panel for mine covering the actual fuel tank. On the real car, this was actually the fuel tank as part of the body. Um, and here in the front, it kind of cuts in um, a bit like an air scoop, just so it's not like a flat surface with air ramming into the end of the tank so on the original car that was just a panel so for this block uh, to cut it out I might just cut it flat and then create a panel after the fact uh, or I might cut this and carve this and make it all one piece I'm not really sure yet so we'll kind of have to see how that goes I think I'm gonna try cutting this and curving it and then I'll mold it as it is I think we'll try it if not then if it doesn't work then i can just cut it off later and try it again but we're gonna try using my mighty might good old reliable smoky and not reliable. You suck.
the Mighty Might did a lot better on this side. So for the front of the car, I made this kind of based off pictures and then based off of the big full-size drawings I have. Um, and again, it's about proportions, not about perfection. So, um, for my ends, got a, what is this? Three and a half inch hole saw. Seems about right. So I'll core through here and there, and then kind of fine cut along the straights and then chainsaw away a bunch of the bulk. So here we are, I got fenders cut out, or the wheel wells, I got the grill cut out, uh, I got the bags done, got the rear scoops pretty much ready, windshield frame, um, yeah, stuff starting to get sanded, and soon I'll paint it, seal it, and then I'll be ready for fiberglass. So stay tuned and like and subscribe.